Good Monday morning, Rosa Parks families. This is Mr. Schneider with your announcements for this week, April 20th through the 24th, 2020. First, I want to say thank you for a wonderful first week of remote learning. I know we had some bumps and some stumbles along the way, but I feel that our teachers and our students did a fantastic job of transitioning to this remote learning format. Um, be sure to message your teachers after you complete their assignments. Um, that way we know that you are participating and that you are still actively engaged in learning in the process. Uh, so please be sure to either message your parent or your teacher through ParentSquare or uh, send them an email and let them know that you have completed that assignment or activity. I know that for some of our families, um, you may only have one um, device or one phone. And so um, even if you complete these activities, let's say after school, later in the evening or the next morning, please let your teacher know that your child has completed those activities. Um, if you have not been reaching out or participating or communicating with your teacher, um, I will be contacting families um, who are maybe not participating um, here this week. Um, I know that many families are busy and swamped during this time, but it is very important that our kids um, still stay active and are learning. So um, if you haven't done that at this time, I do encourage you to please reach out to your teacher right now um, and let them know that um, you are participating and have been watching their, their remote learning videos. I do want to encourage families to please join Parent Square. Um, you can find information on the Perry Township website. Um, you can also go to the Google Play and the iPhone App Store, and you can find the apps uh, for Parent Square to download, so you'll be able to receive um, information from both me and your child's teacher. One of the things that we learned throughout this week was that um, our teachers were sending out a lot of messages and um, I'm sure for some of you who have multiple children, um, you were receiving many messages from your child, your kindergarten teacher, and your child, other children's teachers as well. Um, so we have very much encouraged our teachers to please limit their messages to one or two posts a day, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, um, as not to overwhelm parents um, who are receiving um, let's say five or six teachers worth of things. Um, so do expect that in the next few days, um, you will be seeing um, maybe a bigger email or message from your teacher, but a fewer of them as well. I'd like to remind everyone that Perry Township Food Services is still offering hot meals Monday um, through Friday at 19 different area locations in Perry Township. Um, just remember that it is free for children 18 years and younger. I do want to remind families that I know um, many families are, are going through a lot right now and they're having some struggles. Um, at the bottom of this newsletter, our school social worker, Mrs. Sandberg, did put together some resources and some information um, for different areas that you can connect to um, to provide different assistance. Um, we are always very happy to help here at Rosa Parks. Um, so if there's ever a time that we can, please reach out to me or to Mrs. Sandberg, our social worker, and we will do our best to help you. Uh, but if you go through this newsletter towards the bottom, you will find um, additional resources from the city of Indianapolis um, and from other uh, community organizations as well. I do want to encourage you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with the most current information, um, news, and events. Um, but also finally, as I prepare to end this message, I do encourage you, um, if you have questions, um, please reach out to your child's teacher, please reach out to me, and we will do our best to respond and get those questions answered for you. As I said at the beginning, thank you for a wonderful first week of remote learning. I do wish our kids were here in the building and having a normal regular school year, uh, but we are making the best of a, of a unusual situation and I am so proud of everyone and how hard everyone is working. But on behalf of the staff and Mrs. Swales and myself, I do want to thank you for your time and thank you for your hard work and your dedication. Have a wonderful week. If there's anything we can do to help, please let us know. As always, take care of yourself and each other. Have a great week, everybody.